Hello everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. And my name is Tina Shaw and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ohio. I want to thank you for joining me. And today I have a card to show you how I made it. And this card I have called the Tasteful Touches card. And I called it Tasteful Touches card because I used the Tasteful Touches stamp set. I used this flower and I used this sprig. Um, on the inside I put just saying hello. On the outside I did you are so special. And then I used these two elements um, in the background on the front of the card. So my card is grab my papers here. The base is um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and this is smoky slate and then my first layer is basic gray and that one is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. And then I have a piece of different DSP because I used all this up in my classes. So um, this is from the In Good Taste Designer Series Paper Pack. And boy, is it loaded with beautiful papers. This one it just really almost looks 3D when it, it's, you know, of course not. But um, here it is. It's on page 123, 122. Um, they do have a whole suite. And it does have a uh, die set that goes with it that I'm not using today, but if you bought the bundle, you'd save 10%, 10 or if you even bought the suite, you would still save 10% on the bundle. So that's what I use. They give you lots of ideas, and in fact, I pretty much cased this one, just changed it up just a little bit because I thought it was cute. I added some layers. I didn't use the little wooden elements, but... Um, Anyhow, let's see, yeah, and then here it just shows you the uh, stamp set as well. Okay, so let's get started. So, first of all, we can go ahead and glue down um, the first layer. Isn't that what's supposed to? There we go. That's my new stamp and seal, and I'm just still trying to get used to how it works. It's a little different than um, the old Tombow, but I think I really like it. it. There has more adhesive on it on the roll than the old little one did. Okay, next, um, I'm actually going to take this one now and stamp on it. I do have a, a little strip of one and a half by three and three fourths. Um, this paper, did I tell you? I can't remember. This one is five by three and three fourths. And then this one is one and a half by three and three fourths. And so this is going to go in the kind of the center about, um, turn the other way there. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just eyeball this to see where I want to have my elements showing. I'm going to use Smoky Slate. And I'm going to take this cute little stamp and I'm just going to add like down here and then maybe some up here like that so it will show. And then I'm going to take a Mossy Meadow stamp pad put that one away, and I'm going to use the little sprig leaf and can't remember if I did this one full strength, but I am now. <laughs> yep, I did. And then I'm going to put one down here. I think I'm going to add another one. Let's see, where do I want this? Like right here. And then I'm going to stamp off one right here. There. I think that adds some dimension and texture and Healing. Okay, so now let me clean this off so we don't get it everywhere. 
now we clean this one. Now I'm going to take, set this aside for a second, I'm going to take the flower image and I'm going to grab my Memento Black ink pad and I'm going to stamp two of the flowers in black in the Memento because I'm going to use um, my blends to color. So I'm going to do one and two. Okay, so you're just going to stamp it like that. Just let it dry for a minute. And then while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and punch out uh, with my sprig punch. I'm going to punch out a couple of little sprigs. One and two. Okay. And then I'm going to add this on the card as well when I get ready to put it together. Let's set this over here. Okay, and then these should be dry. I'm going to take my, my paper snips. Oh, I'm not going to do that yet. I want to show you how I colored it first. I almost forgot. Okay, and I've got four blends. I've got the light and dark petal pink and the light and dark flirty flamingo. So what I did first was I took the lightest color, which is the light petal pink, and I just went over the whole image. Now the blends are made to be colored on uh, the Memento pad. If you were using aqua painters or blender pens, you would want to use the stays on ink. This one is um, alcohol based. So, okay, there. I'm just going to do one to show you how I did it. After I did the first layer of the light, I'm going to go with the dark petal pink. And I'm going to go over just the darker lines. And so what I'm doing is I'm just building my color. I'm also going to do the inside. So just highlight it. Okay. Then... I'm going to take my light flirty flamingo and I'm going to use the bullet tip this time and I'm going to go just again over the dark areas over the dots in the middle and so I'm pulling the colors together you actually don't even really want to get all the way out to the tips because I wanted my tips to be lighter and maybe even some left white. I used Whisper White cardstock. So now I'm going to take my darkest one which is the Dark Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to go over the lines again especially in here. Okay, see how I'm just going right over pretty much what I've already done and see how it's changing the colors. And it's best if you um, add another color while it's still wet because that helps it to move easier. move the color. Okay, so now I'm going to take my light flamingo again and the big tip this time and I'm going to go over almost the whole thing. Just kind of pulling down on my colors. Not actually getting to all of the tips. 
And I think you'll notice the difference in the color between here and here, and even here and here. I made this one yesterday and this one a couple of days before. And how this looks more, oh, I don't know, kind of cantaloupe-ish maybe from the petal pink. But it actually changes as it dries. It, it got pinker. So that's what I did. But as you can see, I don't go all the way to the tips and I don't color all the way. So it's multicolored. So those are the four blends that I used on this particular one. And so before I started today, I went ahead and colored two of them. And so do you see the difference, how it looks already from here to here? Amazing. It just kind of changes as it dries. Okay, so there's our flowers. Let's go back to our card. Now, this one, I'm going to go ahead and put down my pink. And I'm just going to use my stamp and seal again. And I'm going to cover up pretty much the middle, maybe a little bit lower. It's up to you where you want it to be. And then I'm going to use a piece of, um, this is actually gray granite. Gray granite shimmer ribbon. It's really pretty in person. So I just cut this piece big enough where I can just wrap it around the front and just tape it down in the back like that. Make sure it's halfway straight. So now I'm going to glue this piece, since I have that ribbon on there, I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down to my card, like this. And now I'm going to take the flowers that I already colored, and before I put them on, I think I'm going to use a little Wink of Stella on them. It just really adds shimmer and shine, and even kind of um, moves your co your colors around just even a little bit more. I really like it. I add this to a lot of my projects. So let's do the other one, and this dries really really quickly too because I believe there's. It's alcohol based as well. Let's get it on my paper. Okay. <laughs> so now that I've got this part done, now I'm going to take and put a couple of dimensionals on the back of my flowers. And then what I wanted to do was to have one going like this way, and then put the other one popped up. And I'm going to turn him over, so it's going to be facing whoops, down, that back went flying. So I'm going to do this one like about right here, okay? And now I'm going to take my little sprigs. Now I've, oh, I thought I lost one. Here it is. I'm going to use my silicone mat and lay these down and just put a little bit. Let's see how big that's going to be. Because, yeah, that'll work. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of this. And it really is sticky. And so just gently lift that up, put that back there. And I'm going to do the other one. Same way. I'm going to gently lift this one and put it there.
there. Now, one more thing. I have a piece of white with the white uh, cardstock. And this is, I think it was, oh gosh, let me see. I should have had this written down. This was five eighths by two and a half. Five eighths by two and a half inch strip. And then I'm going to use the You Are So Special. And I'm going to use flirty flamingo pad. So I'm going to ink this up. Just stamp that right down on there. Perfect. I'm going to save that one because we're going to stamp on the inside. And then I'm going to put that like right across there. I'm just going to glue this piece down here because we've got uneven spaces in there. So I'm just going to put that on there about like that. Try to get it a little bit straighter. I think that's about straight. It was straight already. There we go, like that. Then I'm going to take the other little piece that I cut earlier and just do a little tie on it. So all I do is just tie the ribbon on it just to make a little knot. And then I'm going to trim my ends off short. Like that. Now, what I want to do is I like to add bling. So, since there are no um, flirty flamingo colored um, rhinestones, I make my own. I just take basic rhinestones and I take my dark flirty flamingo blend and I just color. I'm going to color three of these. And of course they're gonna match just perfectly because that's the color that we used. I'll just let it dry for a second. And then I'm gonna pick it up. And I'm gonna put one here, one over here. And I like to put one on here. Isn't that pretty? Sparkly. Okay, now just to finish off the inside, I would like to find where I put my piece. Here it is. This is just a piece of Whisper White, and this one's cut at five and a quarter by four. And so I just want to stamp. What did I do? Just saying hello and then I did the flower again only I stamped it this time in flirty flamingo so let's do that so I need to clean this one off first get the black ink off okay and now let's see I can go ahead and do the flower Tilt it just a bit. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to take the basic gray pad because it's a nice dark gray. And I'm going to stamp just saying hello because I think it's really pretty. Okay. So let's just do that about right there. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Just so pretty. Started, started to say pretty and beautiful at the same time, so it came out beautiful, 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 or something like that. Not very good, but that's okay. That's just me. Okay, dry it off a smidge. Um, I think I want to use just some multi-purpose glue on the back. Tombow, multi-purpose. 
use. I just like to use that sometimes because it does give you just a little extra wiggle room in case you don't get it on exactly straight. So there. And there's your card. So pretty. And here's the other two. And how do you like that? I thought it was really adorable and it was just pretty much a case or a case is copy and share everything and so Stampin' Up! likes to for us to copy and share and so copy and share whatever it is that you see that you like and make what you love so I hope you have a really good day if you have any questions or need to purchase any of these items, um, my website is tinashaw.stampinup.net. Be sure to visit my blog, and that is www.tinashaw's, with an S on the end, dot blogspot.com. So, I will hopefully see you all soon. Bye.